Hi there, Rob Green here from FSW UK. Um, I want to talk to you in this video about um, something that we call Purge and Braze tools. Now these are tools that you add on to the um, OFN regulator to control the flow of OFN going into the pipe that you're brazing. So you want to rid the pipe of oxygen to stop any copper oxidization or the black flakes you get on the inside and on the outside of the pipe when you're brazing. Okay, and you want to make sure that you don't put too much OFN through the pipe that when you've got the molten brazing rod on there that the OFN isn't pushing tiny pinholes that you can't see at the back of the joint for example whilst you're brazing so you're self-inflicting leaks on the system. It's particularly relevant when you're doing large VRV, large BRF systems or you're doing lots of pack systems or refrigeration plant or any plant to be honest with you. But obviously the more joints you do in, the greater the risk involved. Okay, so what's the solution to this problem? Well, the solution is very simple. The first one we'll talk about is the DP1 from Diversitec, which is this little tool here. Okay, just get a little closer. There she is there. Okay, so what this does is that it screws directly onto the OFN regulator. Okay, just got that tightened up on there. Hold it to the camera for you. Okay, oops, there we go, come on, there we go. So what you do, you start in the off position, you make sure you put 60 PSI, sorry, I apologise, 50, 50, PSI into the regulator. So you're coming out of the regulator into this um, purge and braze tool. And then you turn it to one click to purge. And what purging's doing is it's purging the pipe of the OFN, okay? Because you want to get rid of any oxygen and you just want to have pure OFN there. But if you left it on the purge setting, okay? The problem is it's going to be too much pressure and it's going to pop pinholes in the brazing rod, okay? So what you then do once it's purged the pipe of air, you then turn it to braze. And then you can carry on and keep purging, your, uh, sorry, keep brazing the pipe while you're purging this incredibly low rate of OFN through the system that stops you popping pinholes into the, um, the, the, braze, uh, the, braze, the braze joint that you're running, okay? Now... So that's the DP1 from Diversitec, okay? There is another one on the market. Um, this one is called the NitroView, and it's from a company called UniWeld in the States again. And this one's slightly more complicated in as much that there's a little plastic, get this into the camera, there's a little plastic ball on there, okay, that rises up and down dependent on how much you open and close this valve on the top, okay? So there's your inlet from your regulator. So this would screw directly onto the reg, okay? Um, this one here, sorry. And then um, this is your outlet going on with your fridge line going into your pipe, okay? So I'm gonna try and do a quick little demo of this and I've got to rig it up because you won't see it on my OFN regulator with a camera. So we're just gonna tighten a little bit of um, hose on there get this back in so if I make sure that valve is closed oh and by the way the only thing different that I quite like um, about these two is the UniWeld this one actually has a 200 psi blow-off valve on the top there is no mention of a blow-off valve on this or what pressure this can take as far as I know oh sorry it gives you the pressure it can take but it doesn't say that it's actually got a blow-off valve on there all right now, so let's give us a bit of pressure. Okay, so watch now when I open up the valve, you'll see the P start to rise and fall. See it there, look? So basically you turn it up until it comes in line with the yellow um, marker on the front where it says purge, okay? And what is that? 20 plus uh, cubic feet, stay in focus cubic feet an hour okay so again once you've run it for about um, 15 seconds 20 seconds it, it purely depends on the length of the pipe okay but once you're confident that you purge the system of air then what you do then you slowly just fractions at a time you turn it down until it's hovering on the braze part of this yeah where it's down to three to five cubic feet an hour okay so 
the difference between these two basically is this is a the uni weld one is more of a visual indicator so you can physically see if the piece dropped at the bottom you think oh hang on a minute we need to change the OFN cylinder with this it doesn't give it to you this is far simpler the DP1 from the Versatec is much easier to use and it's by far our biggest selling one but we still sell lots of these and you can see why they're a cracking little bit of kit both of them incredibly strong both you can just throw in your toolbox when you're finished and they'll take the rough and tumble of everyday work and um, perfect for uh, installation engineers and service engineers okay so features and benefits of both um, there is roughly about an 18 pounds price difference this one the DP1 is more expensive by 18 pounds while this one is roughly 60 pounds um, and this one obviously 42 pounds okay so um, there we are real brief overview they're a simple tool to use they're a tool that every engineer particularly installation engineer should have on their toolbox okay you shouldn't be without it one of the benefits of it that we found when engineers started buying these off me a, a good decade ago was that the amount of OFN it saves because invariably most engineers are pressurizing too much OFN into the system therefore potentially self-inflicting leaks but wasting OFM for the sake of it so on an average uh, VRF installation that had 75 fan cores in a hotel they saved three large bottles of OFN and had zero self-inflicted leaks because they weren't over pressurizing it okay so there there we go simple little tools for purging and brazing or sorry making life much more simpler purging and brazing OFN thanks for watching I'll see you all again soon bye for now